In today's video, I'll be sharing with you my first impressions on Charcoal Goods Everyday Razor. Coming right up. Welcome back to the Leather Hog channel. I'm your host, John. And in today's video, uh, I'm furthering my journey uh, as far as trying out different razors. I was talking to my friend Ben over at Mammoth Soaps and he was kind enough to send over uh, some razors I haven't tried before, including one of his favorites from this past year, 2020, and that is none other than Charcoal Goods Everyday Razor. Now, I've never used this razor before. I do own the Charcoal Goods Level 2, and uh, I was really curious about this one. I've liked just about everything I've tried from Charcoal Goods, and I know they really simplified things, uh, changed you know, kind of what they are offering going forward, and so the everyday is kind of the result of that. Something that um, doesn't have as many options. They used to have tons of different handles, metals, and whatnot. You know, just, just tons of options uh, for the consumer, but they really want to streamline that and focus on just availability. So the everyday razor, uh, just some quick notes, has really cool kind of, um, texture to the top cap here. Hopefully you can, you can see a little bit of it. Very subtle, but very nice. Uh, I will say the handle, especially when I first saw pictures of it, uh, I wasn't a big fan. It's not what I would call a looker. Uh, I think I've heard it called industrial, but uh, it feels okay in hand. So I think this might be one of those things of um, function you know, over aesthetics. You can see from the design of the handle here, uh, there's some kind of knurling points, some texture here and at the end. So it'll probably naturally kind of lend itself to a certain grip. Also, the tabs uh, of the blade are indeed covered in this design. And I think a lot, of, a lot of razors are kind of veering that way. I personally don't mind if there's a little bit of overhang. It helps with changing out you know, new blades and whatnot. I decided to put in the Pole Silver Super Iridium Blade as it's one of my favorite blades and usually it's one of the first one. That one or Gillette Silver Blue um, when I you know, tested a brand new razor, that's usually what I want to try with besides any you know, packed in razor blade uh, that the manufacturer might have provided. So we'll see how this performs in just a little bit. Let me show you what else we have for the shave today. So for the software, since my buddy Ben is the one who is lending me this razor, quite graciously, uh, I decided to go with one of Mammoth Soap's very first offerings, and that is Huga, uh, the soap and the splash here. Huga, uh, you'll be glad to know, was recently re-released uh, as of recording Thursday night. It, it just dropped earlier today. And in general, you know, inventory, I've spoken about this before, inventory is much more available. Uh, Mood Indigo, my absolute favorite scent from Mammoth Soaps, uh, was restocked. Huga is my second favorite. So I haven't used this in a while, really looking forward to it. And the brush I've had soaking is from Mozingo Brushworks. And that is this brush right here, Skyfire. And you know, it's been so long, but I believe the knot that I put in here was a 26 millimeter Fanchurian knot from uh, the artist formerly known as That Darn Rob, now known as Chisel and Hound. This is either the V1 or the V2. Uh, he's up to V9 right now, so <laughs> it's been a while, but really nice knot, really soft tips, and uh, performs like a champ. If you'd like to help the channel, please like, share, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. These are all easy ways to support and grow the channel if you're enjoying what you're watching. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Huga. As I'm lathering here, and once we get into the shave, I'll be primarily focusing on sharing my first impressions. Real authentic, raw <laughs> impressions on the Charcoal Goods Razor. But seeing as how much I like this scent, I can't at least address a little bit of it. So the name Huga, and that's H-Y-G-G-E. That is a Danish concept for comfort and togetherness. You know, there, there are just certain words in, in different languages that kind of embody a whole bunch of things or embody a complex feeling. And from what I read up on Huga is it kind of encapsulate comfort, family, coziness, warmth. So a really, really cool complex idea. And I think it's one that 
uh, the scent actually does a good job in conveying as well. So uh, it's got the vibe of your classic barbershop and even share some notes like citrus and, and oak moss among others. But where it takes a turn in a really unique and beautiful way is um, there are some uh, kind of like evergreen woody notes in here as well as a little bit of a, kind of a darker, muskier base to it. Not offensive at all, mind you, but something that really sets us apart from, from other barbershop type scents. And I know that term barbershop is, is really, really broad, but it does, you know, that comfort, that warmth, uh, there's something clean about this scent. And I think, I think it is cozy too. All right, so we're lathered up, ready for that first pass with the razor. Uh, I'm working with about two days worth of beard growth. Maybe you can see a little bit, hang out. This is the, the first iteration of uh, the Mountain Soap Base and it still lathers up really nice, dense and creamy. So here we go. Wow, okay, so first thing I wanna note is this has very low blade feel. So I'm just looking, <laughs> it's, it's such low blade feel, I'm looking at the lather on the razor to make sure there is stubble, which, come on, focus. Uh, there is stubble on here. And I would say pretty, pretty efficient already. Um, Nothing, nothing crazy, but again, as, as a razor named every every day, these are kind of some of the qualities I would I would imagine for this razor. Let's keep going. The true test of efficiency, anyway, will be how quickly my hair grows back uh, before the next shave. So today's first impressions, I'll be sure. Uh, I know for my recent um, video with the Blackbird Titanium for Blackland, uh, I did most of my testing off camera. And I did think, I kinda, I kinda wish I could have shared my <laughs> really exuberant first impressions of that razor. And then follow it up with, you know, Additional additional shaves and thoughts as I used it, but trying to course correct or at least change it up and give you those first impressions with today's video. Yeah, I think this one is gonna be really hard to nick nick yourself. It's very comfortable. I think the efficiency is still there. And for folks who have tried and enjoy charcoal goods, I know one thing I'll be keeping an eye out for is how it compares. Like um, before it was, there was the level one, level two, level three heads. For sure this is milder than the level two. Or rather, sorry, the blade feel. But efficiency, I think it's, I'm just feeling around. Efficient, efficiency, I, I'm, I'm quite, uh, quite impressed by. Let me rinse up uh, and lather up for the second pass. <clears throat> I right, so we're lathered up again. Uh, I did nick myself a little bit right up here, as you can see. I think as I was turning to talk to the camera, so. I'll be a little bit more careful. Just as I said, it'll be really hard to cut yourself. Look what I did.
feedback is on the very quiet side. When I was putting the blade in, I thought it was interesting. Um, instead of posts in the top cap, the everyday has kind of little nubs um, in, the, in the base plate to hold the razor in place when you're assembling the razor. Rather hold the razor blade in place while assembling the razor. As far as other razors that I have in my den right now that have similar amount of blade feel, which is like low to min you know, minimal blade feel, um, are the uh, Tatara Masamune Dark. And then the uh, Razor Rock Game Changer 0.68. Uh, the 0.68 I actually had sold off recently because I just came to uh, like the 0.84, uh, which had obviously more efficiency and I just realized with a lighter touch, I could accomplish what I wanted. So it, it seemed kind of silly to hold on to both, uh, uh, to both versions of the razor. But truth be told, for my Tatara razor, I was kind of on the fence. It was, I, I'm considering putting on the chopping block as I think I like other razors more. I also have uh, charcoal goods. Um, it's not made anymore, but they had designed a few handles and offered the equivalent of a, a level one head for West Coast shaving. And I have one of those razors and that also works really well. I think I do like, the, I, I like the performance I'm getting from the everyday more than that West Coast shaving razor. And even the the Mas uh, Tatara Masamune. That makes me think like I should do one of those half and half shaves, one with the Tatara and one with Everyday. So if that sounds kind of interesting to you, uh, let me know in the comments below. So you can still, yeah, this is like a real nick and this is not even a place I don't really shave. I think I was just supposed to be paying attention, but that one, that one went off without a hitch as well. And I, I do think the efficiency is there. So as I rinsed off, I did get just a little bit of stinging from those, um, from the neck area. Again, I wasn't paying as close attention as I should have, but I don't think I overshaved either. I gave this a good shake. Um, the alcohol splash is not available uh, currently, kind of similar situation to Barrister and Man. Uh, Mammoth has switched to a uh, a very liquidy bomb style post shave, non alcoholic. I know alcohol for those aftershaves are still difficult to to source. I know a lot, a lot of folks who love the traditional burn of alcohol splashes are are missing that out, but hopefully, you know, supply issue, supply chain issues can get fixed. Yeah, so I would say very nice shave, very positive first impressions um, of the charcoal goods every day. Uh, we'll be using this some more, but again, uh, not a lot of blade feel for this one. I do think efficiency is there. It's, de it's definitely cutting stuff. If you have any specific questions about this razor uh, or you know, future razors uh, for me to test out and feature, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear suggestions and your feedback is always greatly appreciated. So that's gonna do it for the video. I wanna thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day and joining me for today's shave. I do hope you found the information helpful. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Take care.